Welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel Amel and I'm here with a brand new series in celebration with my brand new cookbook, Rachel Amel's One Pot, Three Ways. Can we get some? In celebration of my new book, I am cooking with my special guest. Henry. Hi darling. Introduce yourself to the people. My name is Henry. I'm a presenter and DJ and content creator and full-time bad girl. Bad girl. That's why I invited her here. I needed some bad girl energy. So today we are cooking my curry jackfruit. So the whole premise of my book is one pot, three ways. So we're going to make that big one pot in here. It's kind of like, you know, you'd have curry mutton, curry goat. Yeah. Curry jack. Curry jack. <laughs> Your name is Jack out there, then you know, rescue for you. I feel like we should just warm each other up here. I have some questions. Uh -huh. I need it to be a time, so we're gonna put a timer somewhere and okay. you have to answer immediately. Well, like, should I be scared? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Uh huh. Three, two, one. Jollof or rice and peas? Jollof. Whiz Kid or Burner Boy? Ooh, Whiz ah! Kid. <laughs> Lauren Hill or Erica Badu? Uh, Lauren Hill. Knife and fork or hand? Fork, knife and fork. Pounded yam or potato? Pounded yam. Grime or drill? Drime. <laughs> Drime? <laughs> this? Drime? Drill. Okay. Um, oh gosh. Grime. Sorry. Wow. I know, I know. It's like old and new. I don't know. Rice at home or Morley's? Oh, rice at home. Plantain or plantain? Plantain. Not even plantain. Plantain. Plan who? Plantain. Mountain. <laughs> Planting. Planting. <laughs> Last question. If your mumsy called you right now and said, daughter, yep. I'm cooking for you tonight. What do you want? What's she making you? Jollof and assorted meat. Ass <laughs> Not assorted. Ass assorted meat. Uh, assorted meat. Yeah. Well, it is assorted because we're here making vegan food today. I know it is assorted. Do you know what? We're actually going to have to change the name. And today you're trying vegan food. How do you feel about vegan food? Um, do you know what? I was pescatarian for a while. Yeah, so uh, vegan food was a lot of what I was eating because I didn't want to eat fish every day anyway. Yeah. And for me, I don't actually eat a lot of meat. My mum just eats a lot of meat. So I actually rarely eat meat. I do actually go for vegan versions wherever they exist more time. Um, so I do like I do like a lot of vegan food. And yeah. to be honest, even where I'm from, where you're from, yeah. a lot of our food is vegan anyway. It's just us that decides to put like the meat and the fish and everything else in there. So yeah, man, I love it. And the assortments. And the, <laughs> and the assault, and the yes. Assault. <laughs> and the assault. Which means you're going to love this recipe. I have high hopes. Oh, I'm, I'm ready for it. What's the chefery like? What, what's the, the, the chopping skills? How are we feeling? What are we saying? Um, I don't, I can't say I've got skills. I can say it can get done. You know what mm. I mean? If it's like chopping onion, I can chop an onion. Like, can you? On. No yeah. tears? I will cry, <laughs> but the onion will get chopped. I'm not going to say it's going to be done like, do you know what I mean? I'm you now, but I can, I can chop an onion. I love the determination. Thank you, darling. Let's make the paste. Curry right. paste. Yes. We've got onions and spring onions, garlic and ginger. Yeah. To me, that is essential for any curry. Baby's here, so if you hear, li, 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 <laughs> he's here, he's watching, he's having yeah. a great time. He's cheering mommy on, so. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to get that in the blender. Cool. If you would like to cut up some vegetables. Oh, I can cut up some vegetables. We've got a potato. Yeah. And I want chunks, small chunks. <laughs> You're trusting me with like the hot. I just thought I was just going to do an onion and that was <laughs> <laughs> in the blender. But this way, no tears, no pain. True. Just. But will it be embarrassing if I, if I cut it up wrong? Yeah. <laughs> See, that was great. Thank you. All right. So oh, please don't be embarrassed by how I'm going to do this. Because I've seen mm -hmm. <laughs> the real chefs, uh -huh. just like you, cut it up properly. Oh, but I just don't think I can. Every time I put my mind to chopping up things nicely, it just comes out wrong. So I just do it a way that, do you know what I mean, works out for everybody. Yeah. So this is like chopping for dummies. You right say now. this, but you're actually very precise. Oh, very similar you. in size, which is thank what you, you want. Because yes. when you cook it, it's got to cook at the same time. Absolutely. Otherwise, you've got a hard potato, a soft potato. Mm -hmm. You're doing amazing. So what's the best way to cut an onion so you don't cry? So is my question. there's mixed reviews on this. Get in the comments. What's the best way? My mum actually thought it was hilarious to buy me onion swimming goggles for Christmas. <laughs> That's my mum's over there. <laughs> I need those. I've heard a spoon in the mouth. I've heard wetting the knife. Guys, 
We have a chop potato. We have a chop potato. My chop is done, you know. Your chop is done. done. I'll do the rest. <laughs> okay, so how would you like this chopped? Just rough. Just okay. to give the blender a little bit of help, you know. Cool, just a little help. I can't chop an onion to save my life. Yeah, just that and that twice. Bam. Yeah. I'll put it in like this. Yeah. Get it in. And the onions are chopped. Bro, I think I'm doing so much. You are. <laughs> So one thing that I've learned about Henry today is how much she loves spice. Yep. She has scotch bonnets for breakfast, everyone. Yep. For breakfast. <laughs> for breakfast. Deep it. Inject it. <sighs> so we've got one today. So I feel like normally in my recipe, I would say, you know, maybe go half if you're not used to heat. A whole, look at her face. <laughs> what is that? So anyway. <laughs> today we're, we're you can't doing... heat shame on this you show. <laughs> Today we've got the whole scotch bonnet yep. with the seeds to make our guests very happy today. Thank you. But if you are, you know, the normal person, feel like, don't feel the pressure, don't put the seeds in, just just the scotch bonnet. Yeah. But we're gonna just... Put it in, go I feel, on. I feel like we need more. To... So, in, so when I was younger, in my mom's jollof rice, my mom would have genuinely like five to six scotch bonnets in the jollof rice, five to six scotch bonnets in the stew alone. And that's the stew that, oh yeah, there's rice at home. That's my rice and stew, five scotch bonnets. It's just scotch bonnets. It can cure anything. Boy. <laughs> it can cure Boy. anything. I feel so weak right now. <laughs> my marriage material, literally my non-negotiable, if you can't handle heat, we can't even be together. It makes sense. What's the meaning of that? What am I gonna cook? Exactly. Oh my days. Who's then. she gonna have her scotch bonnet with breakfast um, with? I can't even think about it. It even gets me upset. <laughs> We're just gonna blend that together. Let's go. So put it on this. Wait, so you you make stew? Yeah. Do you do you blend? Yeah, of course. Yeah, some people don't blend. How can you not blend? They just chop, 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 pop. No, because I like my. I need it smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smooth, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you. Yeah, okay. man. Same on. level. We're gonna add a bit of water cool. to help. Do you want me to do that? Yeah. yeah. So the trick is, Rachel. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it, sis. Tell me. <laughs> My mum always used to say like, yeah, you only add a little bit of uh, water because you don't want it to be a smoothie, basically. So then on top of the potatoes, we've got some carrots. And with this recipe, I always say like, any leftover vegetables, if you've got courgette, if you've got red pepper, if you've got anything odds and ends, it can go into this big pot of food. So clear out your fridge. We've got carrots today. How are you feeling about, we want them kind of small. I can do this with you. Okay, yes. <laughs> I need all the help I can get here. I think I think you're gonna be fine, sis. Okay. I'm gonna do it here. So I like to take off the the MPs. The MPs. Okay. Then I go halfway again. Yeah. Then I go halfway down the side. Yeah, I got it. So what this means is you can do this. Two halves. Hey, you some more. <laughs> and again. This side again. Oh my gosh. And then just like that. So the hero part of this recipe is the jackfruit. It's going to do that kind of pulled yep. effect like meat, but not meat. <laughs> I mean, jackfruit is normal to you. Yeah, yeah, of course. What do you normally eat with jackfruit? Um, it, I have it as a vegan substitute. So it'd be like chick the chicken or the pulled pork, even though I don't really eat pork, but yeah. See? This is already here. This is easy. We know what's going on, you know? If you didn't really know much about jackfruit, just get it. If you get it in the can, get it in water. If you're going to get it at the market, it's probably better. If you get it ripe, it tastes like mango and passion fruit. If you get it young, which means it's not ripe yet, it's not much, which means it can be used for, <laughs> for savory anything, yeah. meals like this. Jackfruit plugs. Love it. So now all I have to do with this recipe is build it in this pot and it's super easy and simple. So to cook this curried one pot jack, heat your pan, get some oil in it, and then you wanna add in the onions, the garlic, the ginger, the scotch bonnets, and now you just wanna cook these down. We really wanna let this cook. Next up, you gotta get all the spices in there. Be friendly with the spices. We want the flavors in this. And then we're gonna cook this. And I always say the longer that we cook it, as well as the tomato paste, the more we can bring out as much flavor as possible, but also be time conscious. You might not wanna spend ages and ages, but if you can spend a good amount of time just cooking it down, cook it down. Season it with salt and black pepper. And if it does start to stick to the pan, you just wanna add a splash of water or oil. Either or, it's up to you and how you like to cook. Once you've let it cook down for a couple of minutes at least, then you wanna add in your jackfruit. Now this is jackfruit and water, and we're gonna mix it in with all the spices, flavor it up, and what happens is the longer that we cook this, the more that the jackfruit starts to tenderize, it softens, it breaks apart, and it gets that really fun pull apart texture. 
So just mix and mix and mix and blend. And then you wanna add in your vegetables. I've got carrots, I've got potatoes. Big shout, thanks Henry. And you can add any leftover vegetables, like I said before. This is great to add them in at this point. And mix it up. Next up, all your juicy ripe tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, and these are gonna cook down and soften and release that liquid and juices. Give it a nice good mix. Add some fresh thyme in there. Then we got some black eyed peas. Mix it all together. This is for a little bit of protein. Adding a little soy sauce for a bit of an umami kick adds another depth of flavor. Then you wanna add in a really good vegetable stock, whatever your favorite one is. And this is how simple it is to build that one big pot. You can double this up, have enough for leftovers so that you can meal prep. And I'm gonna show you one of the ways I'm gonna serve it. So just let this cook down until it is nice and soft and tenderized. Now that we've got the one pot, the curry jack, I'm gonna show you how to make it with one of my sides. So basically, you'd have this feast. If you have some leftovers, you can make some patties. Oh, I love it. Do you like patties? Oh, I love a good patty. Oh, we love a good patty. <laughs> so they're obviously vegetable patties. We've got really simple ingredients. People think these are really hard to make. We've got plain flour, yep. straight in the blender. Straight in. My sushi. The whole thing. Whole thing. We've got some spices, salt and pepper, all of it in the blender. Sorry, I'm just trying to be a good assistant. You're being perfect. <laughs> the best assistant. <laughs> then we've got some coconut oil. We want hard coconut oil, so it's cold. Yep. Straight in. It's cold, it's what we want. There we go. There we go. Now we're gonna start off with four cubes of ice. Four? Yep. So we're gonna make a dough and if it gets not doughy enough, we're just gonna add a little bit more ice. Three. Almost forgot one teaspoon of vinegar. This just helps make our pastry super soft and flaky and delicious. There you go. And then we're just gonna pulse it to crumb it up like crumble. Oh gosh, you you got this. Do I trust you, like, sis. Imagine if I just like blend it and now it's puree. Yeah, that's peak too. <laughs> <laughs> we have got curry spices and turmeric in this, so your hands will get a little, get a little bit. Yeah. yeah, it's brown pepper. Have you made a dough before? I've never made a dough. Never. It's actually a shame you're not doing this then. I mean, no, I? don't do it. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. It's a sacrifice. Yeah, I can actually imagine. Uh, Henry. Yes, darling. What's your first food memory? When I was really, really, really young, uh, my mum tried to give me and my brother bananas to eat. And... Uh, <laughs> as normal people do. Yeah, sorry, I'm laughing as if it's not normal. <laughs> but um, my brother ate it, but it, it just did not look appetizing whatsoever. And because it didn't look nice when he ate it, since that day I've never had a banana. So my very weird food fact is that I've never had a banana before in my life. All right, this is nearly done. What do the ice cubes do in it? So they keep it cold. Okay. Because sense. with the dough, to get it flaky, you want to keep it cold. You don't want it to get too warm, so okay. the ice just helps. This is our dough. So easy to make. How old were you when you first found out what a vegan was? 17, 18. Mm. Do you know when everyone, because I didn't know any vegans growing up. Like, Same. Maybe vegetarian. But even then, it's just like a word that I just heard. Not that yeah. Anybody, <laughs> what that was, meant. Yeah. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. I respect that because I was like 20 when I found out what a vegan was. Really? And I'm a full on vegan now, but I just had no idea. Oh I gosh. ate chicken. I didn't have any vegetarian friends. I yeah. just, I had, I wasn't around it. I didn't know it. I was clueless. Crazy. And look at me today. Look at you now, girl. Change happened. A vegan <laughs> princess. <laughs> I'm going to put this in the fridge, actually. Cool. And we'll be right back after the short break. <laughs> <laughs> Curry is ready, yes. it's reduced. Final touches are a little bit of parsley and a little bit of lemon or lime juice, little squeeze. I'm gonna do the honors. Parsley bay. <sighs> Got you. Now that the curry is ready, we've got our dough balls, which we are gonna roll out. I'll, I'll take this again Thank for the you. few minutes. 
Oh, you can see the layers. Come on. And you know what? I can actually tell that this is going to look like they're proper flaky. Like, yeah. you know, like the flaky is better. I've never made a pie before in my life, but I used to watch my mum make meat pies, which is, I don't really want to say the Nigerian version of. Did she just put a little scotch bonnet in it? Uh, oh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, there. <laughs> really, really, really chef's kiss patty. The flakier, the better. That's what the coconut oil does for mm. the vegan version. Okay. Because it, it solidifies, it can help you get the flakes when it cooks. Okay. Oh, let's I'm go. nervous, freehand, Jesus. Okay, the perfect circle. Oh my God, this is impossible. Well, this is why you're a chef. Ah! I okay. can't even draw a circle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well done. Thank you. Now we've got a little bit more room. We can fill it up in. a bit more. Put a little bit more ingredients yeah. in the centre. Fold over. Fold. Yes. And then be my guest with the oh little hole. Oh my holes. gosh. The Here crimper. Here we go. The crimper. Henry the crimper cushion. I feel like it's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> <laughs> and the last step is to mix a little bit of oil mixed with maple syrup Ooh. and it's going to give it a little bit of a gloss so it gets nice and golden in the oven. They go in the oven for 50 minutes and come out cooked and ready. Cool. Dance break. Our patties are complete. Woo! Are you ready for the taste test? Yes. They are hot temperature and hot spicy so i'm hoping this means we're gonna have a happy henry let's go flaky so what, are we, yeah, what, what are we expecting yeah i don't want to tell you what you expect okay. i want you to eat and tell me what your experience is. okay oh i like that Thank you. all right Thank let's you. go that is stunning <laughs> that is so good she said stunning ladies mm. Tell me what's and going on. You can on. get like literally the full on flavour is in there. I could have done another scotch bonnet. I can't, I can't even lie. I could she have could done have another done. one. Because I can bear it, which means she can do another one. Yeah, I'd, definitely. Well, even two more. Chuck them in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is so nice though. Do they taste like patties? They do. They do. And it smells like one too, like yeah. fully. Would you make this? I think I need to make this. You need to. <laughs> So this recipe, my one pot curry jack, which is in my brand new cookbook, Rachel Amos One Pot Three Ways. I show you how to make this amazing, delicious one pot of food and how to make enough that you have leftovers where you can make things like this amazing Caribbean patty. It's all in my book. It's made Henry very happy today, everybody. And smiling. Woo, 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 yes. she's smiling. Make sure you check out Henry. I'm gonna leave her stuff down below, especially her untold stories that she's done in collaboration with Days. Thank you. Tell us about it, sweetie. So uh, quickly, it's literally 19 weeks of straight content called, called Untold Stories. And it's where like uh, a lot of people come together to tell their stories. We've got the likes of Munya Chihuahua in there. We've got Harry Panero, we've got ZZ Mills. We've got so many different people just saying a story about their life that maybe people haven't heard of before. Exactly. So check it out. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little series in celebration of my brand new book, which is out this August 2021, 20, 24, 26, available in the UK, in America. It's everywhere. Make sure you get your hands on it. One more time. One pot. Three ways, baby. One pot. <laughs> Three ways. That's what I <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> Oh,